Hello and welcome to Barkley HQ. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up retail items in the system. So you're going to start by clicking on the products tab up top, and we're going to start by creating the different retail categories. Um, so you can see I already have so many different categories in my test system, but we're going to begin by creating a new category together by clicking on the green new category button in the top right corner. So for retail items, different categories are very often like dog food, dog toys, leashes and collars, bandanas, and etc. Um, so all you're doing for a category for a retail item is giving it a name. So this one we're going to call dog chew toys. You do not need an online description or online details for a category for a retail item. You just want to make sure the status is active and then select save. Now that you've created the category, you want to enter the retail products that go underneath that category. And to do that, you're going to select on the products tab up top and select retail products. So I already have so many different retail products in my test system, but we're going to create one together by clicking on the green new product button on the top right corner. So let's go ahead and click on that. You're going to give the product a code. So we're working on our dog chew toys. So I'm going to say this is DCT2. So this is dog chew toy 2. And the description is going to be rubber duck. But you know what? I have different size ones. So I'm going to say that this is the small rubber duck. Then you're going to make sure you're putting this category, this product under the right category. So we're going to want to select that this is going under the dog chew toy category. If there's a barcode for this retail item, you can scan it or you can just start typing the number in just like that. If you wanted to track the size, I'm going to put small there, or that can be ounces or liters, um, whatever the size is that you want to put for this retail product. Um, you want to make sure it's active. Then we're going to say, what is the pricing? So what is the price that we charge for this? We're going to say $15. My tax rate here is 13%. Average cost, you leave blank because the average cost is automatically calculated based on receiving goods into the system. And we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, on the left here, you're going to select inventory control. Obviously, we want it to allow sales. We want to maintain inventory. You can enter who is the supplier that you're ordering this from. So in this case, we're going to say this is from Freedom. And the supplier item code is 12334 or 12335. Um, and the supplier price, so what are they selling it to us for? Um, we're going to say $6. You can also set up loyalty for retail items as well. So every time they buy this retail product, let's give them one point. And you know what? When they have 50 points, they can redeem it for free. Okay. Once you're ready, all you have to do is push save. And just like that, we've created a category and product into the system. Now we can adjust the inventory we have on hand by just looking up that product. So I'm going to look up DCT2, or I can type in rubber duck small um, to find that product. I'm going to click on it. And now it brings us to our product profile that we've just set up. But on the left now, if we click on inventory control, because we said we want to maintain the inventory, I can actually come in here and adjust the inventory. So I'm going to say we have 15 of them in stock. Um, I'm changing it because we have a stock, a stock count gain. I want to reorder them when I get down to five and the maximum that I ever want to bring in is 15. Again, we have our supplier information on the bottom there. So now I'm going to go ahead and select save and that's how we adjust the inventory we have on hand. 